Okay, guys, I've been seeing a lot of people having issues trying to get Fallout 3 ISOs, however you got them, whether you got it through a torrent or you actually got the disc. They can't get it to work on Windows 7. I've spent the last, I don't know, hour and a half trying to figure it out, and I finally got it to launch. These are the things that worked, so don't do anything. Just delete your game, reinstall it, and then start from scratch from here. What you need to do is you need to go to this site right here and download this DL file. It's only about 1.7 megs, I think. Um, download it, and when you get it downloaded, take it and go here. Open this, your program files, Bethesda Softworks. I mean, you'll have to reinstall the game. Uh, open Fallout 3. Drag it in here. As you can see, mine right there just installed it today um, then the next thing you're gonna want to do is go to the fallout default or um, it'll be in any file if you got it with the disk I guess I'm not sure mine's a torrent and you'll open this up and you'll see all this and if you don't know what you're doing it looks big and scary but it's not really that bad it's just how the game plays out like basically internal settings that you couldn't really mess with unless you were in here so you're gonna want to go, I'm gonna snap these, you're gonna want to remove these three right here. And I figured, you know, I played Fallout 3 before, I just wanted it on my laptop. Um, I can deal without the main movie intro, or sequence, or, you know, all that. Turns out it's still there even if you get rid of these files. So you come over to this notepad, whoops. Come over to this notepad and you're going to hit control F. And you're just going to tell it to search for this, which mine's already gone, so it's not going to find it. I'm going to tell it to find next. It's, yeah, I can't find it. Yours, it'll find it. And they will be in a line just like this. I mean, this one will be first, that's second, that's third. Just highlight them, delete them, and uh, there you go. One more thing, guys, I forgot to add in the middle of the video. Thank God for video editors, which is what I'm about to do. Um, you can't go to dll.com if you've ever had to download DL files like that. Um, they won't work. It'll actually kind of mess your computer up, as in it makes it act like there's a bunch of DL files missing. So you need to go to that link. You know, you actually you have to access it through Firefox or Chrome. Uh, Internet Explorer won't work, but that is the right file, and it won't give your computer any problems, I promise you do sue me. But yeah, don't get it from your normal DLL website, get it from that torrent link, because that's the only way it's going to work. So uh, Don't forget to like and subscribe.